Parimala has called in from Hyderabad. How can we help you? Uh, hi, Kartik and uh, hi, Miss. Uh, I didn't hi. get your name. Uh, my question is like my son is an NRI right? and uh, he has availed uh, HDFC housing loan mm -hmm. for purchase of a flat. And then uh, we have not uh, got any tax benefit for him. So do we get any tax benefit for him? Because I'm a taxpayer, I'm a government employee. Um, do I get any tax benefit for the loan he has availed? This is your son who's availed the loan, right? Yes, yes. He he has purchased, he's an NRA. Okay. And then uh, we are paying a huge amount of uh, EMI. So we have not got any kind of a tax benefit for the loan that he has availed. Parimala, are you, are you, uh, have you signed the uh, loan agreement along no, no, with no, your no, son? No, 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 not at all. I'm, 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 I'm not a, um, I mean, co-loaner or uh, I've not borrowed any loan uh, in, uh, for this property. So it's a loan that's completely, solely taken by your son, but you are paying it off? Um, both of us are paying, but okay. he's in an RI and then we don't get any tax benefit, right? Right. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> yeah, Karthik, yeah. Uh, obviously the one who pays it gets the tax benefit. Yes, you know, pretty much the answer is already there. Parimala, see what's happening is, uh, it is important for you to be the owner of the property as well as it is important for you to be the co-borrower in that property. Then in that case, you would have definitely got all the tax benefits. Now, see, there is no reason why a non-resident Indian should not get the benefit. If you're filing his income tax return, you definitely can put the benefit and you will get what is known as a negative income. But what will you offset it from? So there is a benefit of interest. But if your son has any other interest income or any other income through any other mode of uh, business, profession, operation in India, then his returns will have some income and you will be able to offset this interest payments. So there has to be some income to offset it. In the absence of any income that your son has, this will simply stay as a loss of property. But I still suggest you file the returns, accrue it. So some point of time, you know, in case he comes to India and then has income, you may you, you are able to carry forward such losses. What happens in your income tax return is this will be treated as a loss of uh, uh, income from house property. And that you can carry forward for a few years. So that benefit may be available to you. But obviously in future years, whenever you have future income. So Parimala, essentially the answer is this. You need income to claim deduction. <laughs> Okay, right now your son doesn't have income in 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 India. His income is uh, his income is you know he's actually earning an income abroad. Yeah. So if he has income in India from stocks or from whatever else that he's owning, then you can offset it. Then you can claim reduction. If not, carry it forward. If he does come back to India, he can actually claim like a bumper uh, tax rebate over there. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.